Pakistan was the ninth country to develop nuclear weapons, beginning the process in the 70s after losing a war with India, their biggest rivals in 71, which caused East Pakistan to become Bangladesh. Their Prime Minister said that if India builds the bomb, we will eat grass or leaves, even go hungry, but we will get one of our own. After India conducted its Smiling Buddha test in 1974, the race was on to catch up. Abdul Qadir Khan was a Pakistani scientist who, while working at the Dutch nuclear facility, stole top-secret intelligence on how to enrich uranium and brought them back to Pakistan, which was a main foundation to their nuclear weapons program. They also had significant help from China who provided expertise, materials and blueprints to develop a bomb. This was because China wanted another ally against India also being one of its rivals and saw the benefit in arming Pakistan. The US did little to stop Pakistan's nuclear weapons program, initially underestimating their capabilities, but also because Pakistan was a key ally against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. The US didn't want to risk their alliance and often turned a blind eye despite mounting evidence that Pakistan were using the US military funding to develop weapons. In 1998, India detonated five non-peaceful warheads, including a thermonuclear bomb. Just weeks later, in response, Pakistan also detonated five bombs underground in the Ras Ko mountain range, successfully completing their first ever test and making them the latest nuclear-armed nation. While India operates a no-first-use policy, meaning they are only for deterrence and to be used in retaliation to such weapons being used on them, Pakistan operates a first-use policy, reserving the right to use them however it sees fit, and indicated it would use nukes against India even if no nuclear weapons were used on them. While this policy concerns many nations, it has proved successful for Pakistan, leading to a weaker response from India in their many conflicts since, out of fear of how Pakistan might respond. An Indian military spokesperson said that Pakistan's threat of nuclear first use has deterred India from seriously considering conventional military strikes. Abdul Qadir Khan, the man mentioned earlier for stealing the Dutch nuclear blueprints and dubbed the father of Pakistan's nuclear program, confessed in 2004 that he had been involved in illegally selling nuclear weapons technology to North Korea, Iran and Libya. Seeing as none of these countries are a part of the non-proliferation treaty, it drew worldwide concern about the uncontrolled spread of this technology.